everyone and welcome to our new cottage. We have moved, it finally happened. Today is Thursday and we moved on Saturday, Sunday and Monday. We actually went back to the cottage on Monday just to clean and bring the final few things over and then we stayed the night here on Monday night and woke up here on Tuesday. So yeah, we've been living here for a couple of days now and really getting settled and it's starting to feel like home and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm really excited to show you guys where we live now and take you along on us getting settled and getting to know the area, trying out some of the walks and all of that. But first, in case you missed out on why we have moved or anything like that, um, we were renting our last cottage for about two years was it or a year and a half I can't quite remember now and the owners decided to sell the property um, which meant that we got like the notice that we would have to leave and actually originally we wanted to or we thought we wanted to buy the the cottage um, because we had been thinking of buying somewhere and we yeah it kind of worked out quite well for us so we actually put an offer in and everything um, but unfortunately the valuation for the cottage was, was a lot higher than we expected and we felt that it was worth for us um, based on the fact that we would want to do quite a lot of renovation to it. Even though we had it looking very cosy and comfortable there were actually quite a lot of issues that I don't necessarily show on camera. Um, so yeah we realised that that wouldn't be an option for us and then we had the quite fortunate I think dilemma, the privileged dilemma of deciding where we wanted to move because I am now freelance, um, well not quite, I still am I'm, um, doing my notice period now for my job but I was working from home anyway so I will be fully freelance soon and Harvey's also freelance and can kind of work anywhere he can find work. So originally we were kind of looking around the Peak District and thinking we might move into the Peak District and then we were looking kind of more around where my mum lives and my sister lives, so West Yorkshire area. And then we even looked in Wales, we considered Scotland, we were like, you know, looking all over the place. But yeah, Harvey got this work in the Lake District and also I, d I knew that I wanted to do my second walking guide book to the Lake District. So we were like, okay. So we started looking kind of, we actually weren't looking in the Lake District. Well, we were kind of looking in the Lake District, but it's very expensive to live in the Lake District and really hard to rent there, really hard to rent there with a dog. So we were kind of looking to see what might be there, but also mostly looking around the lake. So on more of the western side of the Yorkshire Dales and the Forest of Boland, those kind of areas. Um, and we ended up finding a very lovely little cottage in the Howgill Fells, which is where we are living now. Um, so I actually visited here two years ago with my younger sister and I made a little vlog about it, so I'll link it down below in case you wanna watch it. And I just really, really loved this area and I thought how wonderful the walking was. It's very, um, quiet it's not particularly touristy i don't think i haven't actually been here in the summer before but it's you know it's not as touristy as the lakes or the peaks or the more popular parts of the dales at least so it's quite you know it's a little corner of it's so we're actually in the yorkshire dales national park but the area is known as the well it's called the howgill fells so yeah it's very quiet it's just rolling hills beautiful landscape um, there's a lovely little town, just a 10 minute walk that way and yeah, I think we're super excited to be here, really happy. It wasn't the original plan, so we weren't like, right, we're going to move there. It just kind of happened quite organically, which is really, really nice. I'm loving being able to walk into town and there's a lovely little veg shop and a cafe and deli and I can walk to the post office and I'm... Our garden is kind of looking over the hills as well, which is really nice. And the other day we kind of walked up the back of the house into the fells over there. So yeah, I kind of have my dream in a way of being being able to walk right into the hills, which is yeah what I've always wanted, but also being near a lovely small town with 
amenities that mean that I can shop locally, there's a butcher, there's a zero waste store, yeah like I say a post office, a veg shop, a deli, you know there's like all of those things and, and Kendall is our nearest bigger town so we can go into Kendall to do um, bigger food shopping if we want to but I'm going to try and limit how much we actually have to do of that because I really like the idea of being able to shop locally. So I just popped down into the village and got a few supplies. I thought I'd show you what I got um, because I'm really excited that there's a lovely little green grocer that also has some like store cupboard items and a really nice deli as well. So I feel very lucky to have these things. I've always wanted that. Um, but yeah, I got got some monge to mon, monge to and baby corn because I'm gonna make um, Thai green curry tonight and I got a big these big naan breads which look really good um, got some bananas some um, ginger two white onions two red onions garlic a cauliflower for the curry um, I got some proper milk and some very nice looking proper butter from the um, deli. And I also got Harvey and I a couple of cakes from there for when he gets back, that's a ginger one. And there was also a, oh, a blondie as well. And they also had some really nice looking bread rolls, which I thought would be yummy with some soup maybe tomorrow. So yeah, just a few bits, but oh, and I got some sesame oil. But yeah, they've got a really good selection of like spices and quite interesting, like organic um, store cupboard items as well. So very excited to be able to shop local. That's what I've always wanted to be able to do. So what else do you guys maybe want to know? Oslo is settling in really well he's just sat over there on the sofa i'm in the lounge now it's got this lovely stone wall um, and there's some stone walls upstairs as well if i'm honest when we came to look at this cottage i didn't walk in and think wow i really want to live there it was kind of you know we'd looked at quite a few places well we, to be fair we hadn't looked physically at a lot because it's quite a long drive i think we looked physically at two other places um or even maybe just one, but we looked at a lot online. And I'd seen this one online and just kind of disregarded it because I thought it looked quite small. Um, and I, you know, wasn't sure about it. But anyway, we decided to come and look at it. And I wasn't blown away by it by any means. I was kind of like, eh, it's nice. It's nicer than it looked on the photos. It's got lovely views out the back um, and it has some really nice features in it. And we decided to put a, um, what's the word, put an application in because it's a rented house. Not, I don't want to say a last resort because that doesn't seem right at all, but it was almost like, we need to move, this place is nice, let's just go for it. And the location wise, we were like, this is a great location for us. I wasn't super convinced on the actual house at that point. However, since living here, since moving all of our stuff in, I'm really falling more and more in love with it and I absolutely love this room that I'm currently sat in. We've got it feeling really cosy. It's got some nice natural light that comes in as well. It doesn't get any direct sunlight because the house is north facing but the garden is south facing or kind of south east facing so we get light in the garden from about 12 till you know four or five and it will get even more in the summer so that's brilliant like so so nice i've actually had my breakfast in the garden this morning yeah i just i am falling more and more in love with this house as we start unpacking it feels really cozy the kitchen is very small but we managed to fit everything into it and it again like it's really nice and it's got some really lovely kind of features in there it's got this nice kind of shelving thing so my task for today is <laughs> to sort out the kitchen which currently looks like this i think it looks worse than it is because actually those are all empty and yeah, these are, it's not too bad. <laughs> um, I know it looks awful, but we've got some good shelves here, which I'm trying to decide what to do with. And then this is the main part of the kitchen, which looks, um, it looks quite small. It definitely is smaller than our last kitchen. 
um, but there's actually quite a lot of cupboard space so I was packing all of the cupboards to maximise space as best as possible so, so I put food in here and then I put some pans in here but then I realised that I've got this cupboard totally empty a lot of this cupboard empty um, yeah that one so actually there's more space than I think I thought so I'm now having a bit of a dilemma about what to actually put where <laughs> I wish Harvey was here because he would be able to offer a second opinion but yeah we'll see this is what the kitchen looks like now almost done as this stuff that's all recycling that's shopping bags and then I've done this whole section. I think it looks really cute. I put um, cookbooks here and then plates and bowls. This is all like baking stuff, flour. I um, wasn't really sure what to put here, but I think that looks, you know, I think that this will be useful and yeah. And then I've got a few other little books here, egg cups. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the kitchen is also pretty much done. I'm just making some pasta and yeah I got mugs and tea and coffee kind of station and then this is like um spices sauces pasta pastery things um tupperware and then this is all glass so glass cups um <laughs> glass jugs and that kind of thing and then bigger bowls and then in here got some little jars tins and uh, vitamins and then we've got a few other jars here and then I put down here I'm not sure this is a little bit of a mess I could move some of the stuff but this is kind of like breakfasty stuff and just random bits and then uh, this is more like other like baking things but like bigger useful things so yeah getting there me and Harvey are very good I think at making places feel cozy and comfortable so I almost think anywhere we moved we would probably like it because we would just have it feeling nice and cozy and how we yeah how we want it so um yeah I think like I say I wasn't totally in love with this place when I walked in but it was a case of, okay, they allow dogs, it's within our budget, it's a great location, and it has some good potential, and now I'm actually living here, I'm like, yeah, really, really liking it, so very, very happy about that. everyone I've just come out on a morning dog walk with Oslo we've just walked up a hill out the back of the house um, we're literally straight into the hills which is so nice and I checked the OS app yesterday and it looks like this path I'm on now kind of cuts along the hills and then back down into our village so I'm giving it a go <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going but obviously there's good visibility and I've got phone service so I can check my app if I need to. Oh, such a beautiful day. Yesterday was absolutely stunning. It was just blue sky, really warm as well. I actually went for a walk without a coat for the first time in months and um, today's more overcast but it might clear up or it might just be overcast, who knows. But yeah, tasks for the day. I think I'm gonna try and tackle, um, well, first of all, I really need to sort out our office because I have maybe like 20 parcels to send for our store. So I really need to like find the stock and get all that store sorted so I can just like do that nice and easily. So I might try and just get the office in some kind of order and also maybe do our bedroom a little bit so I can find clothes because I can't find any clothes. So you may have noticed that I've been wearing the exact same outfit. Actually, I did manage to find some different clothes today. But in general, I've been wearing every single day a pair of black leggings 
and that woolen jumper that I always wear. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's like we've just been moving house. But yeah, I am in need of some fresh clothes. having hot Weetabix for breakfast each morning it's like reminds me of my childhood <laughs> hello little one i have a little moment with my brekkie Ooh. before a day of packing This is the office and as I mentioned I really need to pack up some orders so I'm going to try and get it semi-organised but um, we're going to put some shelving here so I can't really get it properly organised until we have the shelving in. This is all stock for our store. We've got my favourite Darkwoods coffee in now um, and maps over there. Um, outdoor provisioned bars, yeah, we've got a bunch of stock around, water bottles in there. Um, but yeah, I just want to get this like semi-organised so I can pack up some parcels and then figure out the post office here. But yeah, it's got this beautiful wooden, uh, wooden? <laughs> stone wall and a little fireplace that doesn't work. It'll probably end up just being full of... Um, dried flowers and these are all my books which will move but they just ended up there okay so I've got a little bit of a temporary packing station sorted <laughs> we've got books over here um, tape these stickers um, a few books and then some stock down here so picnic blankets coffee books and soap um, maps outdoor vision bars water bottles and yeah oh i thought i'd just quickly show you um so i got the we got some new branding made from somewhere off grid who did my book design and it's for um so we decided to um use ramble co as kind of a overriding or umbrella brand of ramble guides and ramble store um allowing us to also uh what's the word um develop and expand if we want to and yeah I got these postcards made that we can send out well they did the, they did the design based on our new branding which I love and and, and I got these made um I've got them printed and yeah they look really cool and I'm really excited to be able to send them out with parcels because I think it'll just make us look a bit more professional and like a proper proper little store send it up beautiful day again Right, I'm just walking to the post office with some packages and I've got a bunch on my back as well. I'm sorry, you can't come, Bubba. He thinks he's coming with me, but I can't take him. So nice being able to walk places. I'm super happy and it's such a beautiful day. As you walk down so many different shades Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Are you reading my book? Please. I just walked down to the post office um, to drop off some parcels for the store and that was nice and easy so that's really good to know that, that I can do that now. And um, I also popped into the Zero Waste store which is really nice. It's basically got everything you could possibly need. I was just running away from the bee. Didn't know he didn't like bees. Um, but yeah, it's got everything you could possibly need. So there's a butcher, a bed shop, a zero waste store, really nice cafe and deli. It's kind of yeah, I feel really really lucky to be able to live somewhere that has all of that. That's kind of what I really really wanted to have like 
be somewhere with a village center so yeah i'm really excited to be able to shop locally um I'll probably still go to the supermarket but hopefully you know limit it to once every three weeks even a month we'll see i'm not sure yet um i'll figure it out as i go along what a beautiful day it is <laughs> i think i'm going to I might just have a little sit outside for a little bit and then I need to do a little bit more work um, and I really should be unpacking inside but it's such a nice day I'm like I just don't want to go in so yeah <laughs> Oh